Hey, Tim DeStasio here. It is Psychrometric Saturday again. For the last, I don't know how many episodes, we've been talking about dew point and grains per pound of moisture. So both of those measurements, dew points on the left side of the chart, grains is on the right side of the chart. Both of those measure absolute humidity. This is the absolute amount of moisture that's in the air. Just as a review, if we have six ounces of liquid in a glass, then our absolute humidity in the glass is six ounces. But today we're going to introduce relative humidity and relative humidity is still a measurement of humidity, but it is relative to how much humidity that the air can hold. So going way back a few episodes ago, we learned that the warmer the air is, the more humidity or the more moisture it can hold. So if we have really warm air, that would be like having this 12 ounce glass and it has six ounces of moisture in it. This glass is about half full. So the air would be about half or 50% relative humidity. Now let's take another glass. We still have six ounces of moisture in it, but we have a much smaller glass. This represents cooler air that can't hold as much moisture. Now we're gonna plot relative humidity on the chart next time, but for now, I just want you to let that sink in that relative humidity is still a measure of moisture, but it is relative. It's a percentage of how much moisture that the air can hold. We'll see you next time on Psychrometric Saturday.